Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I am out at a friend of mine's uh, class that he's putting on. He's a firearms and training instructor, and occasionally I'll come out and help him with, with classes and stuff. And today he's doing a real particular class. It's his Dyer class. Um, the instructor's name is Russ Adler. Uh, I'll put a link down below to uh, his website and everything. But the Dyer is part of his uh, FAST series, Fighting and Survival Tactics. Dyer is an acronym for Disaster Insurgency Recovery Event. Uh, and it's not a typical training class. It's more oriented towards um, survival scenarios and that sort of thing. Um, it's not a beginner class where you learn how to uh, shoot a weapon and that sort of thing. You need to already know that kind of stuff before you get to this class. But that all said, I won't drag it out. Um, going to kind of be filming all day throughout the class, give you little bits and pieces, and uh, let you kind of see what it's like. And uh, maybe it'll be something that some of you find of interest. So hang on, here we go, and we'll get started. Experiences. And a lot of it is like Matt and I were talking just a minute ago about camping. <clears throat> camping out, people look at camping as a vacation. Well, some people actually have to camp to survive. And it's, it's a matter of, um, of what can you reasonably carry, whether it's a two-way <clears throat> range situation, and a two-way range means you've got bullets coming at you as well as you sending bullets back. Okay, kids, are, you're gonna have to train your kids. If this starts happening, you're gonna lay on the ground or you're gonna stay behind me. You know, if you've got body armor, you know, stay behind mommy or daddy because we have the body armor and, you know, we'll protect you, we'll be the father for you, and we'll be fighting back. Or you go to the strong room in the house, you know, which we've kind of reinforced uh, for tornadoes, hurricanes, and for bad guys, perhaps. So you got that's all part of the planning process, and that's that deals with your practical ability. And you got to know that, you know, if you're if you live in an area like this and you've got a wide open field out there, okay, do my armaments and my eyesight and my ability to focus enable me to take out bad guys at a standoff distance? Or if it's an overwhelming force, do I have a plan to go out the back door? You know. All right, so what Russ is doing now is getting into some of the uh, live fire portion. Uh, first thing he's going to do is just uh, run some of the guys through some uh, basic warm-up drills, uh, kind of get them, get them dialed in a little bit, and uh, make sure everybody's on the same page and then start running some more, some more live fire stuff. So hang on. One round, one round. Ready? When I say contact. Ready? Contact. Um, I'm sure it's hurting already if you take a gut wound. Those right there you can wrap real quick. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is, yeah, you can wrap up. Obviously it's a gauze. Uh, but you, when you put it into it, let's say you had a penetrating wound, you actually unroll it and kind of shove it in. Yeah, your, your fingers are going to get dirty. Um, then the other thing that I carry is just petroleum dressing. <clears throat> yeah. um, petroleum dressing is the old chest seal, and that works. It's something I can get to real quick. It's small. If you've got a chest wound you just took around, I can slap it on. I can slap it on that quick. Um, and then I can go get my halo or my Asherman chest seal or something like that and put a permanent one on. But I can get this on really quick. And I usually carry a couple of them because you usually have a primary and a secondary wound, <laughs> meaning an entry and an exit wound. So you, you got to roll your patient over. And that's something that I would teach more in the Dyer Three class is more physical exam, uh, I've got a saying that what you don't see, you don't know about. You know, so 
you know, because he's screaming and yelling because he's got blood running down his face. Okay, he's cut himself. The face is very vascular. He sees all this blood running down his face. What he doesn't see is that gut wound because he's screaming and yelling. Everything hurts. And this is what's killing him, not these little cuts on his forehead. So um, that's kind of my first line. I do carry the trauma shears. But that's my blowout kit. Boom. Quick and easy. Stop the bleeding. Stop the air blowing out. Um, my secondary kit um, is on my battle belt. Um, again, you try to be able to get to it with both hands, but this is not more, you know, it's not so much an emergency, um, but it's just going to have, now I can't. All right, so guys just in the class uh, just finished up doing some warm-up drills, uh, shooting. Uh, they did a little lunch in area where they had to fix lunch and cook on the campfire, and then uh, had a little medical portion, uh, some really good stuff there. Um, that actually a friend of mine who you'll probably start seeing more of on here gave the med portion of that uh, just going over some stuff so now the guys are going to start getting into some actual uh, live fire uh, scenario training so let's go check it out Move. Striking! Covering! Hit, I'm just going to hit dirt. I, That's fine. I'm going to steal around. <laughs> <laughs> God dang.